Novak Djokovic is through to the fourth round of the Australian Open after a dramatic win over Taylor Fritz. Again, this match has opened the debate, does Novak Djokovic fake injuries? This debate had its peak when Djokovic was booed off the court after retiring against Vavrinka at the 2019 US Open. That time it was a shoulder injury that was already known, as we saw Djokovic call for medical timeout against Londero and clearly struggled to serve. In this occasion with Fritz, it's an abdominal injury that was very unexpected. So let me just take this out of the way. The ones who say, oh, but he's always injured when he's losing. Come here, man. Just let me ask you a question. Are you dumb? In this match, Novak was two sets up against Taylor Fritz. He wasn't even a breakdown in the third when he calls medical timeout. And when he comes out of it, he can barely hit a forehand. So why the hell would he fake an injury when he has the match under control? And there are some people that say, Oh, but look at him, playing good again at the fifth set. I don't know if you know the existence of it, but there is something called a painkiller. And it takes some time to kill the pain. So it's normal that when the match goes on, the pain in his abdominal is less and less with time. Use your common sense, but just use your common sense. Let's rewind to 2017. Djokovic retired in his match against Thomas Burdick due to an elbow injury. Again, many people saying that this injury was fake. An injury that kept Djokovic for over six months off the court and that after that needed surgery. So it's obvious that every single time that Djokovic gets injured, many people are gonna question if it's real or fake. So why does this happen only with Djokovic? He is known to be one of the greatest warriors in the history of the sport, making epic comebacks that look impossible, but then people don't believe his injuries? Why does this happen? Well, first of all, 99% of people who say this want him to lose badly. Second of all, I think Djokovic's history of retirements when he was younger in his career has chased him a bit. Although it's many, many years ago, it is shocking seeing a top player retire because he can't handle the heat or see him retire by injuries that didn't look so serious. Like I say, this is many, many years ago. I think Novak is much, much tougher physically and mentally and his diet helped him a lot with breathing problems that he had back then. And third of all, the fact that Djokovic is so tough to beat even when he is injured drives many people crazy. How the hell is possible for him to win so many matches when he is injured? One of the keys to this is how well does Djokovic dominate the pace of his matches. He senses very well when his opponent is more vulnerable. You see him winning his service games with many difficulties and not even fighting the games on the return. But when the most important moments of the set come, bam! Djokovic raises his level and the opponent has to deal with the pressure that he hasn't felt throughout the whole set. Also the fact that he hits the ball so cleanly with exquisite timing helps him a lot. He is able to generate a lot of power without using much strength. So beating injured Novak Djokovic is not an easy task for any player. He is still very dangerous. Honestly this debate makes me think of how unaware some people are of how physically demanding elite competition is. I've heard Nadal and some other players say, it's rare the week that I don't have pain in some part of my body. And it's true, these guys are putting their bodies on the line. And Novak Djokovic is not an exception. Honestly, things have just come to a point where whatever Djokovic does, he's gonna get hate. The man doesn't even have the right to call for a medical timeout without people questioning if he's faking an injury or not. And for those who say that he always calls it when he is losing, that is not the case. And I assume that in many matches where he is having a straightforward result, he's not gonna call for a medical timeout even if he's struggling with an injury. Because he knows the best thing to do is try to win the match as fast as possible and treat the injury after the match. But when you have pain in a tough match, the pain might be the main cause why you are losing. So if you can limit the pain by treating it in a medical timeout, why wouldn't you do it? It's a similar case with Nadal. You will rarely see him calling for a medical timeout when he is winning a match. And it is very probable that in many matches that he is winning, he has some type of pain in his body. But I don't see this debate as much with Nadal. So the main point that I want to state here is that Djokovic is gonna get hate whatever he does. But out of all the hate that he receives, I find this fake injury narrative the most stupid one. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about this topic? Hopefully Djokovic can play his fourth round against Raonic. If it is the case, hopefully he plays the match in the best physical condition possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more great tennis content. And see you guys in the next video.